All right, guys, so we'll first start with our standing roll downs to get started. So we'll start at the top of our mat, standing nice and long, nice and tall. Arms are gonna come forward to start off with, and we're gonna pack the shoulders back and down. Weight into your ankles towards the heels while still feeling the weight in the ball of the foot. And we're gonna bring chin towards the chest, fold in at the mid ribs, Draw navel to spine as you curl and roll forward. Rounding forward towards the floor, keeping that weight that you started off with in your tall standing position as you roll towards the floor. Let your head hang, still maintaining that weight around the ankle joint that drives straight down through the foot. And then feel kind of like you're spreading the floor apart, your mat apart with your feet. Pausing for another breath here at the bottom. And then bending the knees slightly forward, we're gonna tuck and curl. Rolling up. One vertebra at a time, straightening and extending the legs as we restack. And the arms will come forward once again. Lengthen. Long towards the ceiling, stretch the neck, the crown of the head straight up, and then chin towards the chest, folding at the mid ribs, actively engaging the glutes, feeling like you're trying to spread the floor apart beneath you with your feet, and curl and roll down, piece by piece, vertebra by vertebra, all the way down towards the floor, letting the head hang, Feeling that stretch run from the ankle all the way up the back of the leg, through the hip, and along the spine, and up the neck. Pausing for that breath, and slight bend in the knee to allow for a better tuck of the tailbone. Actively engage the abdominals as you curl and restack. Drawing the abdominals up and in, wading into the heels and the ankles. Straightening the legs as you restack the spine and arms glide forward. Exhale, forward fold. Folding in at the mid ribs, drawing navel to spine, letting the head hang towards the floor, stretching through the neck. Rounding and rolling forward, stretch deeper towards the floor. And we're gonna rock forward. So you can feel the shift in your weight. We're gonna lean forward onto the toes. Maybe walk your hands forward a little bit. And then walk the hands back. Lean back into the heels. Feel how the stretch shifts and changes as you move the weight towards the toes and back towards the heels. One more, walking forward slightly, feeling the weight in the toes, and then walking back to feel the weight in the heels. Coming back to center, again, finding that balance along the foot, little bend in the knee, and we're gonna tuck and curl. Restack the spine, piece by piece, all the way up nice and tall. We're going to work through a supine warm-up to start off with before we get into some balance work. So let's come down to the mat. We're going to go into our pelvic curls to begin with. So knees are bent, feet are flat, spine is nice and long on the mat, little gap at the small of the back. Let's reach our arms down long towards the feet, and exhale, as we curl the hips back, press into the heels, begin to lift the hips up off the mat, and then as they start to rise, push the knees forward, drive the shins forward towards your toes, moving at the ankle joint, engaging the glutes, the hamstrings, and abdominals as you knit the ribs in. And on that next exhale, we're gonna curl down, piece by piece vertebra by vertebra, 
rolling all the way down along the spine through to the tailbone, keeping the ribs knitted in as you rock towards that little gap in the small of your back, and exhale, tilt. Imprint. Press into the feet, and as the hips begin to lift, we have to press the legs forward, feeling that stretch run through the front of the thighs around the knee, as the knees press forward towards the toes. And on that next exhale, we'll curl down. Rolling along the spine, stretching and lengthening each vertebra. And all the way through along the sacrum towards the tailbone. Exhale, tilt. Drawing abdominals in. Peeling up off the mat inch by inch and pressing the knees forward towards the toes, engaging glutes, activating inner thighs, drawing ribs and abs in, and exhale slow with control, rolling down along the spine, each little section all the way down towards the tailbone. One more, reset the shoulders, knit the ribs in, and exhale, curl back through the hips and begin to lift, pressing the knees forward towards the toes, drawing the ribs and the abdominals in. Nice deep breath at the top. And exhale to curl back down, rolling all the way down along the spine, back to neutral. Arms are going to come out a little wider, palms down or palms up, whichever feels more stable. And we'll bring our legs to tabletop position, little space between the knees for our leg changes. We're going to inhale, hinging at the hip, right foot drops towards the mat, and we exhale to change, trying to maintain that bend in the knee. And as the leg moves away from your midline, drawing the ribs in tighter, cinching up through the core, pulling up and in from the pelvic floor through those lower abs, as if you're zipping a zipper from pubic bone all the way up the front of your torso to the mid ribs. Nice and smooth. You can scale the range of motion, so it doesn't have to be a large movement. You can work this somewhat pedaling motion, smaller at the top versus trying to find the mat, the floor with the foot. One more each side. And feet come back down to the mat, knees bent. Feet just in line with the sit bones. Fingers are going to interlace. We're going to bring the hands back behind the head to support the head and the neck. Drawing the elbows slightly forward. Come towards the tailbone so you create that space between the small of the back and the floor. And we exhale, folding at the mid ribs. We lift the head, neck, and chest. Allow the head to push back into your hands. As you pause for that breath at the top, tightening your core more. And exhale to reset, weight the tailbone, pull the rib cage together as you curl back. Not changing the spine position from mid ribs down throughout the movement. Exhale, fold. Chest is lifting, head and neck are fully supported by your hands and arms. And exhale to reset. Feel that stability right through the waist. It's not changing or shifting out of position as the chest is lifting. And we're finding that nice deep flexion below the pecs, 
below the base of the shoulder blade. They're at the mid ribs to bring the chest, the shoulders up and forward more. Two more. Reset, take a moment, take a breath. We'll come up to a chest lift, hold on our next one. Hold and lift, and into our rotations. We exhale, rotate over, and onto that right shoulder blade, keeping the left hip down, and inhale to center. Exhale to rotate over to that left shoulder blade, anchor the right hip and inhale back to center. Maintain the height of the chest, that weight and stability through the hips. And we rotate along the mid ribs from side to side. Keeping that distance between the ribs and the hips symmetrical from right to left. Last one over to the left. Back to center, curling and rolling down. Arms come out to that T position or a lower position, especially if going too high, pushes the shoulders up and into your neck. So working a little bit lower to give that length through your neck and that expansion through the chest and the collarbone. We'll bring the legs to tabletop, hug through inner thigh, feel the weight at the center of your sacrum. As you knit the ribs and draw the abdominals in, we take the legs, hips, and low back to the right side as we inhale over and into our spine twist supine, anchoring onto that right hip and left shoulder blade. Exhale to draw back to center. Inhale, twisting over to the left. This is the same as our chest lift with rotation, the mid rib twist, right there below the pecs, at the bottom of the shoulder blade, stabilizing the low back. We're twisting through the mid back. Last one each side. Pausing in tabletop at the center. Hands come to the side of the knees. We fold at the mid ribs to lift the head, neck, and chest, drawing those shoulders down, anchoring slightly towards the tailbone to maintain that little gap. And we move into our single leg stretch. We reach long with that right leg for the inhale, switching legs, and the hands only transfer from knee to knee. No twisting through the upper back. Reach far, reach long with the legs as you draw the ribs in, 
engaging abdominals, lifting up through the pelvic floor, pulling up from the bottom of the hips, long through the neck. Reach with the legs, keeping that fold at the mid ribs. One more each side. Draw knees to chest, stretch through the back, lowering the shoulders, head and neck back to the mat. Sliding the shoulders down, allowing the neck to stretch and relax. We'll come back to a neutral spine, bending the knees, placing the feet flat, reaching the arms nice and long, out to the side slightly, reaching down and away from the shoulder. Right leg comes to tabletop. Working just the single leg lower. We inhale to hinge at the hip. And exhale back to tabletop. Tightening up deeper into the abdominals. Pulling to your center line as the knee moves away from the chest. Two more. Bring both legs back to tabletop. Hands return to the side of the knees. We fold and lift the head, neck, and chest. Moving into our double leg stretch. On our inhale, arms and legs move away from our center line, reaching out. And exhale, reset. Keep the chest up as the arms travel overhead. Try not to increase the arch of the back as the legs reach forward. Tighter through the core. Lift higher with the chest. One more. Knees once again, draw in towards the chest, stretching through the back. And we'll reset feet back to the mat in line with our sit bones, arms reach long to the side. And we'll bring our left leg up to tabletop. Finding that symmetry from the top of the hips to the bottom of the rib cage, left to right. And on that inhale, lowering the left leg away from the torso, maintaining that knee bend. And exhale, leg rises to tabletop. Hinging at the hip, allowing the leg to move freely in the hip. Find that even weight from right to left pocket, right to left shoulder blade. As the collarbone spreads wide, we draw the ribs in. And that nice little gap between the small of our back and the mat stays consistent throughout the movement of the leg. Three more. Finishing up that last one. And knees come to tabletop. Fingers interlace. 
Hands come to the back of the head. We fold and lift the head, neck, and chest, supporting the head and the neck with the arms, moving into crisscross. Upper body rotates left as the right leg glides forward and reset back to center. Left leg stretches and lengthens as we rotate right and unwind. Weight the hips as you rotate so you don't fall over to the side. The leg that is straightening, that is lengthening, push that pocket down into the floor. One more each side. And knees draw in towards the chest. Legs stretch out along the mat. We're going to work into a little bit of our roll up. You can work this with a double straight leg or one or both knees bent, depending on how you need to support the movement to allow the spine to roll and articulate as well as to roll up to a seated position. I'm gonna go full straight legs, starting with my hands up in front of the chest. On the inhale, I lift the head, neck and chest and exhale to curl and roll. Rolling up, vertebra by vertebra, into that C curve as I draw the abdominals back and in towards the spine, stretching along the low back. Shoulders glide down, lengthening through the neck. And then exhale to tuck and curl. Curling and rolling back, piece by piece. Each little section of the spine imprinting along the mat and now arms reach back overhead without overarching the back or flaring the ribs and inhale arms glide forward chin to chest exhale fold curl and roll shoulders are down Reaching long out over the legs. And exhale, curling back. Piece by piece. Tilting the hips back to imprint along the sacrum, along the low back. Reaching overhead. You can always use a weight, like a lightweight dumbbell or kettlebell in your hands or in your arms for support on the roll up. Pressing that weight out in front of you to assist with the curl up. And this next one, reach out farther and longer over the legs. Gliding the shoulders back and down, curling back, piece by piece along the spine. Two more roll-ups, and then we'll move into our standing balance work. Lengthening forward deeper into that stretch. Drawing the abdominals to the spine, maintaining that C curve, gliding the shoulders down, lengthening through the neck. Press and reach long with the legs. 
The stronger, the straighter, the longer the legs, the more support and strength you have for the movement. Last one, inhale, lifting head, neck, and chest, and exhale, curl. And reaching out nice and long over the legs. Flexing at the ankle, drawing the toes back towards the shins. Finding that stretch, that movement in the ankle. Pressing the back of the knees down as you draw the top of the foot back towards the shin. One more breath. And then we'll curl and restack. Sitting up nice and tall, nice and long. So we're gonna grab either a wobble cushion. If you don't have a wobble cushion, you can do this without. You can also grab a small throw pillow from the couch to stand on uh, for more of that instability. If you have a thick mat, sometimes that alone is enough to add that instability, or if you have a BOSU ball, anything that's gonna create a little bit of instability for the foot or for the ankle. If you have a wobble cushion, they have the nubby side on one end and then a flat surface. You can pick which side you wanna stand on. I'm gonna go nubby side down. And there, mine is about two thirds to three quarters of the way inflated for pressure. So I can allow the foot to sink in a little bit. So I'm gonna find the center of my wobble cushion. Feel free to work against a wall or bring a chair over a prop that you can hold on to for better support. And I'm gonna go for more of a side view, for more of a coach's angle. And I'm gonna stand both feet on and I'm gonna work some corners here. So I'm gonna drop back into my heels, pull my toes up, and then I'm gonna rock to the outside of the right foot, inside of the left, and then forward onto the toes, pressing the toes down, and then over to that left side. Think of it like our pelvic clocks that we worked a little bit last week. And then back into the heels, and then over to that right side. And forward to the toes. We're making a counterclockwise circle. Down into the heels, feel that stretch up the back of the leg. And over to that right, forward to the toes. And to the left, and back to the heels. Now we're in a reverse directions. We're on our heels, toes are lifted up, and we're gonna twist to the left. Onto the outside of the left foot, inside of the right, we come forward towards the toes, centering up, and then over onto the outside of that right foot, inside of the left, and back to the heels. going clockwise through those circles, finding that movement in your ankles, drawing the abdominals in, slight tuck of the tailbone, trying not to over arch the low back, finding that spot that you can stare at to center. And we'll go for one more Full circle. And we're going to come back to center. Feel free to step off and reset if you need to. So we're going to find the center. 
and just work that balance, really finding that length. Now, if you're standing flat on the floor or the pillow is not giving you a lot of a balance challenge, close your eyes. Work on standing straight and tall and long, feeling the foot, feeling the ankle, and then shut your eyes. You can try it with the wobble cushion as well. And you can see how much we rely on our sight to balance. Good, feel that movement in the ankle, the stability in the foot, stretch long towards the ceiling, lengthening through the spine, activate through inner thighs, engage the glutes, draw into the abdominals, as you balance tall and long. Rolling shoulders back and down. Two or three more breaths. And we'll step off. Stepping to the side, we'll take a shoulder width stance with the feet. Slight turnout of the toes. We're going to work a little bit of some squats. We want to reach the hips back, drive the knees forward as the chest stays up and lifted. Arms can flow forward as we drop into that squat and slow to rise. Really tracking the knees, so nice and slow. Even if you only go a quarter of the way, check the alignment of the knee out over that second and third toe and dropping into that squat, engaging your abdominals. Feel the feet on the floor. Spread the mat wide, spread the floor wide as you drop into that squat. Moving once again, using the ankle joint for that mobility, just like in our bridges. If the ankle gets locked up, it's really hard to get the knees to drive forward as the hips reach back. Pressing up out of the heels from the bottom of the squat, engaging the glutes, drawing the abdominals in. Coming down into that squat and we're gonna hold and slight bounce. Lift a little and drop back down. Still tracking the knees out over the second and third toes, spreading the floor wide, the mat wide with the feet, trying not to drop in onto your arch, weighting the heel, shoulders back and down, chest up, ribs knit in, strong through the abdominals, five, four, three, two, one, standing tall. Coming back for our balance work, we're gonna work on our single leg. I'm gonna start with left foot centered up on the cushion, bringing my right foot out to front. Standing nice and tall, bringing my right leg up to tabletop, and finding that balance, trying to center onto the foot. If you're not using a pillow or a wobble cushion and you're having a fairly easy time standing on one foot, close your eyes. Drop those shoulders back and down. Ribs and abs knit in. Press and lengthen up through that left leg. Get into the glute. Five, four, three, two, one, reset. We're gonna come back onto that left leg, balancing strong single leg on that left side. And we're going to work some movement of this right foot, right leg. 
Right foot's out in front, toes tapping the mat, and we're gonna draw the knee up and slow to lower and lift. Finding that balance, you're gonna fall out of position here and there. Work on that recovery. Use a wall as much as you need. Lifting and lowering that right leg up to tabletop. Two more. And stepping off. We're going to place our left knee down on our pillow or our wobble cushion. Step that right foot, right knee forward, and we're going to stretch. Stretching out the back of the bottom of that left foot, the front of the left hip and thigh. One more breath, and we'll reset. We're gonna switch to the right side. Right foot, right leg. Center of that wobble cushion, and we're gonna hold the left leg up in tabletop, finding that balance, that strength, that length out of that right leg. Getting into the glute as you draw the ribs and the abdominals in. Again, if you're not using a cushion or you need more challenge, close your eyes. Two more breaths. And we'll step off and reset. Take a moment. We're going to come back to that right foot on the cushion. Once again, left foot out in front. Use as much support as you need to. And then as you feel more balanced, more stable, release that connection to that wall, that chair. Left leg comes up to tabletop and reaches forward and down. Start to look at what sides you have more stability. So if you were going to do this outside of our classes, doubling up on that side that's more challenging. Last two. And stepping back. Right knee comes to your cushion. Left foot and leg comes forward. We're using our cushion as a knee pad and we're driving forward. Opening and stretching the bottom of that right foot, front of the right thigh, along the top of the hip, at the front, One more breath. And standing up nice and tall. I'm gonna slide the cushion to the side just for a moment. We're gonna work a single leg deadlift. So standing strong on that left leg. I'm gonna float the back right foot up off of the mat. Slight bend in the knee. 
Arms are going to reach out in front. And I'm going to bend the knee on the left. Start to bow forward. Reaching down towards the floor. And then pushing up out of that left foot, left leg, stand tall. Reset as needed. And we reach back with the right leg. Bend the left knee slightly as the hips reach back. We bow forward. Reaching down towards the floor, feeling the glute engage on that left side. And standing tall. One more. Trying to keep that left shin as vertical as possible. And standing tall. We'll switch legs. Right foot comes forward, right leg comes forward, left leg is back, slight bend in the knee, and we drop. Right knee bends, chest bows forward, trying to keep that vertical shin. We're reaching for the floor, trying to find that stability in the foot. And standing tall. Reaching out. Bowing forward. Right knee bends. Reaching the hips back. Bowing for the floor. Feel that right glute engage. And push up. Nice and tall. Nice and long. Last one. Reach back with the hip, trying to maintain that vertical shin, engaging the core, and pushing up nice and tall, nice and long. Coming back to our cushion, we're back on that right foot, right leg, and we're going to work a, B, abduction. So standing tall up out of that left foot, left leg. Right foot is out to the side. Right leg lifts up and draws back in. Exhale, right leg lifts and back. Nice and slow, finding that balance. Shoulders down, ribs and abs knit in. And again, you can always take the wobble cushion or the pillow out, working on your mat or flat on the floor. One more. And stepping off. Left heel comes to the cushion. We're going to kick the hips back, bow forward, and stretch up the back of that left leg. Draw the toes towards the shin. One more breath. And standing up nice and tall. We're going to switch. Right foot to the center of your cushion. Use a wall or a prop as much as you need to, especially for the first rep or two until you get the rhythm, you feel the balance, and left leg reaches out. On that exhale. Nice and slow. You're going to definitely find a side that's a bit more challenging than the other. Nice 
Last two. Lengthen long towards the ceiling. Ribs and abs knit in. And stepping back with that left foot, right heel to the cushion, and we hinge forward. Stretching along the back of that right leg. One more breath. Stepping onto the cushion with the left foot. Right leg reaches back. We're gonna work a little bit of that lunge. We're gonna drop the right knee down. And slow to press up. Nice and slow. Lowering yourself towards the floor. And pressing back up. Two more. Chest is proud. Ribs and abs knit in. Driving strong through the legs. And we switch. Right foot forward onto your cushion, left leg back. Bending the knees, keeping the torso tall and long. And pressing up. Nice and slow as you lower. And pressing long and tall. Last two. Our last set of single leg balance, left foot back to the center of your cushion. Right leg reaches back behind you. Arms are gonna come out in front or find a wall to support. And hip extension for that right side, right leg lifts and lowers. Brace and lift. One more. And stepping off and changing sides. Right foot forward, left leg back. Find that tactile feedback, holding to a wall if you need to, and bring the arms to the front. And lift. Nice and slow. As you start to get your balance, try to use less and less support of your hands. Last two. And stepping off and back. Feet are gonna come about hips or hip or shoulder width apart, we're gonna reach up overhead, stretching up nice and long and tall. And exhale, fold and curl. Rounding and rolling through the spine, curling down towards the floor. 
reaching and stretching long. Draw the abdominals up and in. Feel that stretch run up the back of the spine. Hang towards the bottom for another breath. And bend the knees slightly. Exhale, tailbone tucks. Draw the abdominals deep to the back. Feel that stretch along the sacrum, your lumbar spine, as you curl and restack. Reaching forward, reaching long overhead. And exhale, fold and curl. Curling and rolling down towards the floor, piece by piece, inch by inch. Hanging at the bottom, letting your low back round and stretch. And slight bend in the knee. Tailbone tucks, pull abdominals up and in, slowly restacking, reaching up nice and long. And last one, exhale, fold, curl and round, keeping that weight over the ankle, strong through the foot, straight and long through the legs. Rounding forward, rolling towards the floor, hang and stretch. One more breath. And slight bend in the knee, tailbone tucks. And we curl and re-step. Inch by inch, reaching all the way up overhead, stretching long towards the ceiling, and arms come down by your side. All right, guys, great work today.